Hey, yo, so for transparency, I do not want to go to the gym. I'm tired. Like, not tired to the point where it's like I got to go to sleep, but it's tired to the point where it's like, damn, I just don't want to go. Like, I think that's that sticky point where you like, you don't want to go, but if you stay at the crib, you'll still stay up, watch TV, play video games, or do something. My daughter is asleep right now, and T is upstairs chilling right now. So it's like that little point where it's like, if you stay here, you just gonna do nothing. So I need to just get my ass up and handle my business. Alright, so a good part about coming to the gym at late nights like this means no people. Pretty much. I mean, you have people up in here like there's people in the parking lot like but compared to like going on the inside of the gym, there's nobody really up on the inside of here. I think she loves me, cause I got the check on me. Won't spend the damn flags on me. Put a cousin hex on me. Flash out my name, put the X on me. You should come check on me. Talk dirty and caress on me. Fuck it, might as well get undressed for me. Love, how you get that with two F for me? Put a lot of stress on me. You used to obsess for me. Call the station and request for me. Alright, y'all, so I made it back in. It's late. Actually, it's late. It's like 12.45. I finished up my workout. I got to the gym at 10, like 10.30, right? At 10.30-ish. But I finished up, did my 30-minute run, finished my workout, got straight into it. No real no real breaks or nothing like that. I waited for like 45 seconds in between or whatsoever and just got right to it. I didn't really talk to nobody up in the gym today. So got in, got out, got done, got to the crib before 12 a.m. So now it's time for me to hit this shower, go upstairs, hit the bed, cause T is already asleep. Time for me to hit the sack real quick. Ivy is knocked out as well. So get some sleep, get ready for the morning, repeat the process, get back to work. All right, y'all. I'm headed out to take Ivy to class right now. Get that shaky screen, but I'm taking Ivy to school right now. You wanna say hi to everybody? When she wakes up in the morning, she's a little grump, but when she gets to school, be excited. You'll think she had an energy drink or something, but she be hyped up when she go to school. I think she loves me, cause I got the check on me. Won't spend the damn flex on me. Put a cousin hex on me. Trash out my name, put the X on me. You should come check on me. All right, y'all, so we are at Country Club Hills parade that's happening this weekend um as y'all see the skies is like a little gray out here it's dark as hell out here but it's not gonna rain it's not gonna rain until about two i wanted to take my top off and everything but uh, i ain't gonna have no top out here i ain't gonna have my top off right now but it's all right but we got the whole squad we don't have the whole squad everybody haven't showed up just yet but we're about to show out in a minute we got the jeeps down there we got yellow we got riri we got cal we got Tre trev we got more people that's coming up here, but right now we just loading up right now before everybody get this parade going. So uh, it's going to be a while before we actually get pulled off and everything. But right now we getting set up. I'm ready for this. This is my first time in CC Hills Parade. And it's crazy because I always wanted to be in one. But I've been in a Bud Billiken Parade, which is a huge south side parade that's for back to school activities for students that's going back to school. It's huge for the African-American community a huge parade the newscast cover it so abc nbc cbs they be all out there and it's a huge parade so i've been in this with the jeep wrangler the shot wrangler crew been in it for this two this is our second year doing this so i'm excited that i can do another parade coming out here for country club hill so we're about to get this going and yeah we're about to show y'all how this go all right trail right here y'all what's good what's good yes sir we got ricky just pulled up ricky guess you smell good Nah, it's me. I'm on that. If you want to hear what you said, I'm looking. This is the aftermath. I ain't even heard you that. Good morning, everyone. Please remain in We got ours pulling up finally. Roll your window down, Kyle. Sorry, this is the type of shit ours be on. Roll your window down. That's all right. Let's see. Look, look. I'm going to get away. Watch. We're going to put them on film. We're going to get them on film, bro. Talk dirty and caress on me. So I'm loving this right now. Shot Wrangler crew representing like always, man. 
Uh, these kids, I love it. They going crazy for ducks. We passing out crazy amount of ducks. Like you see us tossing them out, the kids run out and go grab the ducks. That let them know we're giving out that love, man. Jeep lifers, Jeep riders, Jeep rollers, Shot Wrangler crew, we doing it big always, man. And passing out these, I'm making the kids happy. So if it's something that's making these kids happy because they love getting these ducks and they like to keep them around, you know, they might be a future Jeep Wrangler rider, who knows? But uh, it's real cool, man. It's, it's, it's exciting to see that these kids are ready to go back to school. They wanted to see some entertainment. They get to see the Jeep crews, Corvette crews, the motorcycle crews, high schoolers, different schools, elementary schools, and it's just good to give back. So this is just being a part of uh, growing up, being an adult and giving back to the kids. And I think this is a good feeling, man. So we're about to turn, it, turn this thing up a little bit. Turn it, blast up some music a little bit, and let's have some fun. And I'll catch up with y'all in just a second, all right? Uh, if, if I was to judge the raid, uh, it'll be I, a, I believe snack, that they snack food. people were outside, which is cool. It rained a little bit, but then the weather came back with the sun. So, you know, uh, I give it like an eight. Um, it didn't take too long to start. Fact. I sent my wife to start the parade first. Uh, she, <laughs> she went into the parade before I did. Um, yeah, you know. You know, uh, it was good, you know, make sure you freak in the parade if you can. This is what happened. I just got ducked. I just got ducked, y'all. Well, we all did. All right, y'all, this was a vibe. I left my glasses here. This was a vibe. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it myself. But now, I have to be the responsible husband and get to my wife and take her out on this date. dirty and might as well get undressed for me Love how you did that with two for me Put a lot of stress on me Eat the obsess for me Another picnic Another grind <laughs> Show Wrangler crew Today we deep as hell All right, y'all. Rise and grind. It's the morning time. We got another Wrangler crew that we got. We got another deep Wrangler crew. We had another parade that we got going on. Uh, it's Sunday. We got another parade that's going on for three different schools. We got everybody pulling up. This time we got the whole line that's pulling up. We got, so far, we got about 20, 22, 23. Deep, that's deep as hell right now. Yesterday, we only had about, I say we only had about eight or so, but, uh, Today we're pulling up deep. It's gonna be heavy, we're gonna have a ball. Again, we're doing this for the kids that's going back to school to show them support and get them ready for the school year. We're gonna have a ball, we're gonna have some fun. So yeah, we catch up with y'all in just a second. You're gonna be screaming that from the side of the stage at Big Jam Saturday, December 7th at Winchester. 